Once you have this idea of functions that are differentiable at certain points or aren't, it opens up a variety of other kinds of things that you can think about. For instance, let's go to this, don't need this anymore. Think back to some of the functions that you're more familiar with and ones where there's continuity, but there isn't necessarily a derivative. Okay. If you think back to our old friend, y equals this absolute value of x. Okay. Think about what it looks like. Okay. It's always continuous, isn't it? There are no breaks. There are no breaks. But because it's piecemeal, x minus x. Okay. Because it's piecemeal, at that point, at the origin, what's happening to the gradient? No, really, what's happening to the gradient? Hmm. What does it mean to be a tangent? What does it mean to be a tangent? You want it to just touch, right? Just touch. But it can't be, like, you can't just say it's touching at one point because you're just coming back over here, okay? Here's my cube root x. This line, I want the origin, right? This line touches at one point, and so does this one, and this one, and this one. In fact, any line, any line? No, not, not these positive ones. Um, a, lot, a whole bunch of lines, an infinite number of lines, will cut through just once, but they're not tangents at all, right? What does it really mean to be a tangent? Why is it that the y-axis is the tangent and nothing else is? Because of the equation of the tangent? Like, it's, about, it's about what the gradients are approaching. Right? There isn't a gradient there. There isn't a gradient there. And there's also no gradient here. Okay? But at least here, they're approaching the same thing. Whereas here, is it, is, it, is it this line? Sorry, that's y equals minus x. I just thought I wanted to go up top. Is it that one? Or is it this one? <coughs> and the answer is, well, neither of them is sort of, you know, a more legitimate claimant to the crown. Okay? Like neither of them. Well, no, there's, there's no tangent at that point. Oh. Okay? So again, this guy is continuous, but not differentiable at the origin. Okay. Now we've been trying to do this in visual terms, but this has become a bit difficult. Really the, the clincher, the thing that defines it for you all the time, is think about the derivative. Think about this guy. Right? If this thing is not continuous, if the derivative is not continuous, then it's not differentiable at that point. Okay? If, on the other hand, the derivative is, then you'll be fine. Think about what the derivative of this looks like. In fact, I drew it not that long ago. What would the gradient function of the absolute value of x look like? Tell me what it looks like over here. What's the gradient over here? It's 1. <coughs> right? And then, of course, on the left-hand side, it's, it's, it's negative. Yeah. Negative 1. Right? So can you see here, the gradient function of the absolute value of x is not continuous. Therefore, the actual function is not differentiable. 